All right, thank you so much, Curtis. Well, she was only 15 years old and on a vacation of a lifetime. In 1961, Denise Sullivan, her mother, and a male companion were vacationing in the Four Corners region, but something went horribly wrong for all three members of the group. Each missing person has a family, and for them, their search continues. ABC 4's Mark Marcos Ortiz joining us in studio with tonight's Missing in Utah. Marcos. You know, this is a tragic story that started out as an adventure, a chance to see the West. The families were from Connecticut, and when they reached the Four Corners area, Denise Sullivan not only witnessed horror before she disappeared for good. She was excited about it. It was an educational trip uh, to go across country. They crossed the country in this Volkswagen. It was July 1961, and a mother, her boyfriend, and 15-year-old Denise Sullivan made their way to the Four Corners region. They made stops at Monument Canyon, Horse Thief Point, and hiked the trails. Denise's four-year-old sibling was left behind in Connecticut with her grandmother. And the only real reason I wasn't going is because I get horrible car sickness. So I was left behind. Back then, Jeanette Sullivan was a single parent, raising her two daughters and pieced together a life for the girls. I remember that we didn't have a lot of money. She was a wonderful seamstress, and I wore a lot of clothes she had made. And when she met Charles Boothroyd, the two clicked. For the couple, the trip out west was more than a vacation. The information that I got from him, because he was, they were going to be married when they got out west, but they never made it that far. This is uh, part of my collection on uh, Denise Sullivan. Dr. Stephen Lacey has a fascination with Utah history. He wrote a book on the disappearance of Denise Sullivan. The day before they uh, came to Dead Horse Point, uh, they were in Monument Valley. And uh, all along they took film footage. And when they got to uh, Dead Horse Point, Abel Aragon was there and he acted like he was a, uh, a guide. And so he proceeds to tell them about the local history. But Abel Aragon was no guide. He was from Price, considered a war hero, and even saved lives during a mine collapse. On that day in 1961, Aragon was a drifter and out of work. Lacey says Aragon even took the 8mm camera and was filming the Sullivans and Boothroyd during their excursion at Dead Horse Point. After two hours, uh, he excused himself and took off in his uh, car and went down the road and then finally Denise, her mother, and the boyfriend came along and saw Abel. His uh, front of his car was opened, the hood, and uh, they stopped to ask uh, Abel what was wrong. The hood was open and they asked Aragon if he needed help. Boothroyd and Aragon tinkered with the vehicle as Jeanette and Denise looked on. And then Abel did something under the hood and then went in the car, started it up, and come out with a gun. And it just all went wrong from there. Now Wednesday, as we continue this story, shots are fired and lives are changed forever. From Missing in Utah, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.